Hello guys, how are you? I am Noor and today I will explain the different return types of the action result uh, from the controller. Okay, so let's we uh, create a new project. I will select this and here search for SPM you see select the second template uh, if it's not coming at the second uh, position then you can search here but you have to select a template like this one the sp.net core web app model view controller right here I have to give uh, the name to my project ASP uh, MVC to do sorry to do app or right now I will click on next uh, here select the dot net 6 version of the framework uh, select none and here uncheck this option you can uh, configure this kind of things according to your needs and requirement but at this time I will keep the things simple right now I will create the project We are going to explain the different return types of the action result from the controller, right? Okay, now the project created successfully. I am going to the home controller and lets me remove all the extra stuffs. Control S and run the application. Okay, the project loading successfully. Let's me go to the project and here uh, by returning different types, I mean here uh, the return types of the action result. You can see that by default we are returning the view, but we can either return uh, view, we can return uh, re direct see that here there are lots of templates especially in uh, if we just type redirect there are lots of uh, uh, methods uh, let's me uh, type here the return to action yes and here let's me also put the controller name the controller name will be the home these line of code will return I mean redirect to the index page it is the index page and the controller name will be home if I just uh, place comma here you can see that the first parameter I mean this one is the action name the action name is index and the second parameter you can see here the second parameter is the controller name so the controller name is home okay this line of code means that whenever I hit this privacy page then it will return to this page let us me put here a debugger and also put here a debugger I will stop the application and we will run the app again ok the, de the debugger is hitted for the home page so continue uh, ok now when I click on the privacy page action method will be hitted and then it will redirect to the index page of the home controller let us me click on the privacy you can see that the method is hitted next after executing of this line the control will come inside the action method index and see that we are redirected to the home page successfully if I click continue I am again at the home page click on home let me remove this two debugger click on home I am at home 
when I click on privacy, then I, the, the privacy page will not be loaded. Uh, otherwise, uh, so it, it will redirect me to the home page. Click on privacy. It redirected me to the home page. Home page, it is home. And when I click on privacy, it will, it will redirect me to the home page. Uh, I can also return on the JSON from here. Uh, uh, let's me return a very simple JSON new message. Let's suppose message is uh, it's testing app, and let's me add one another attribute for for message type. Let's suppose we have a message type in our application. Uh, json and let's me add the id a very uh, i mean any dummy id like 555 five, five. no i will return the json when somebody hits this action method let's me st start the application again you can see that the json is written uh, refresh the page Go to privacy page. Now here we can see the JSON in the browser. It's mean that we can return different kind of things from the controller action result method, like return view, return redirect to action, return redirect to pay uh, to root, return JSON, and other data. If I click here, return redirect to Page. If I just click on this one and it takes parameter uh, page name root value. I think it works in the razor pages, but let's me put here the page name. I think it will not run here. Let's me try. privacy so the page path index can only be used while executing a razor page okay as i said that it will work in the razor pages our application is the mvc so it will not work here uh, right so we can return different kind of things as you see you can search on the google uh, like uh, i was searching for an article and there was lots of uh, and tab like the view result uh, partial view okay like the json we can also return here a partial view from here partial view like in this way so there are lots of ways to return data from the action result uh, thank you for watching the video goodbye this time